Hi. There are still a few more things I need to tell you so you can really get the most out of this, especially if you're a complete beginner. Okay. Pressure is also really important, and we can't just skip it. Let's look at the pencil tool first. Normally, when we use it, it follows the stroke width settings, so go to settings and choose pressure. It's the same for the path brush tool too. Okay. Now let's try the paint brush tool in the pixel persona. It also reads pressure based on the style brush set. Use pressure. Just tap force pressure so it follows the pressure from your drawing tablet. It works kind of like Photoshop. Alright, let's start drawing. The same principle applies. Try to draw your lines without leaving any gaps so you can fill them later. You already know this part. And depending on your hand pressure, you might need to adjust your tablet settings too. When you draw each line, hold control and move the endpoint so it touches the previous line as closely as possible. That's how you close the area for coloring. When you draw a line like this, the thickness is based on the width you set. Affinity will always smooth your lines. Pixel brushes don't do that, they follow your hand pressure naturally. I use vector lines because they're really easy to fix without redrawing, and the lines come out clean. If you draw a line and don't like the pressure, you can go back and fix it in the pressure section of the stroke panel. You can reset it, you save pressure profiles you've created, or increase and decrease the width however you want. Vector lines stay sharp and clean no matter how much you scale them. Okay, now for coloring, use the reference layer method. Break everything into sections to make adding details easier. Okay, now what if you don't like the colors you used? What would you do? Normally, you might adjust using recolor or use the flood fill tool to paint over it. But I don't do that. I insert a shape directly on top instead. For example, for the hair, I draw a shape that covers the entire hair area and then change the color. It's the easiest method. After that, you can add details however you like. Use different brushes to paint. Use the pencil tool to draw shapes. Use Protect Alpha, Clipping Masks, Rasterize, whatever you need. I've already explained every step, all the tools and how to use them, in my Affinity by Canva for Drawing series, all 10 videos. So if you're new here and wondering why I speed up some parts of the video, it's simply to keep everything from getting too long. You can always go back to those videos to learn more and try the steps yourself. Doing full vector art or combining vector and pixel art each works differently. It depends on the final result you want and what kind of work you're making. Okay. We're still waiting for the Affinity version on iPad. When it's ready and released, I'll make another tutorial for it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.